Good morning guys. We are currently in my car. It's Friday morning. It's raining a little bit. Pretty cozy. <laughs> I am nervous because I've done something a little bit crazy. And I just want to give you the story of what's going to happen today so that you kind of understand. And I want to share this and document it because it's a big chance. It's a big risk and I'm nervous. So a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by a woman on Instagram. She is working for an organization. I don't remember what, what it was called, but a woman has handed in a big load of vintage clothing that she has collected from the 60s and up to the 90s. I don't know if this woman has died. I'm going to ask more about it today, like why she have handed it in. But I was contacted on Instagram, asked if I would be interested in buying this big load of vintage. That means I really haven't seen the pieces and I don't know how much it's worth. It is a big chance because it's a big of money for me. It's not something that's just handed over for me to try and sell. It is um, it's something I'm paying quite a lot of money for, considering that it's a big chance, big risk for me. So I was actually supposed to go pick it up with my brother tomorrow. We were going to drive like 200 kilometers, I think. But when they had tried packing it down into our car a couple of days ago, they found out that the portion was too big to fit, in, fit into a car. So therefore they, they decided that they would deliver it to me in a trailer. That's what's going to happen today. So I'm nervous and I have just been trying to do a bit of shopping. But once again, I was very surprised that it's a bank holiday. I found one boutique that was open, so I got some Pepsi, Pepsi Max, and I also got some chocolate with paper on them, so that, you know, Corona times, um, so they are gonna be here this afternoon, <sighs> and I'm nervous and excited, it feels a little bit like Christmas, like, you don't really know what you're getting, you don't know if you're gonna be disappointed, or if it's gonna be, like, an amazing day, that's how I feel, so... I've been fooling around, taking pictures for the last hour. I had some earrings, this vagina necklace, that's actually the name of it. It's from a Swedish artist. She's also the one doing the Venus earrings. And I wanted to take pictures of this beautiful cardigan. Look at the details. So I've basically just been walking around outside for the past hour in different outfits, looking like a crazy person. <laughs> And now it's time to open up, so. I have just had a lovely customer here who were pregnant and she bought this in size medium. This is not listed on the web shop yet because I'm not tall or big enough to model it. I would say size medium works on a size large. So um, yeah, the sizes are too big for me to wear it also. It's pretty long and I'm only 162 centimeters tall. So, but it's stunning and um, gonna hang this up. Look how beautiful the weather is now. It is almost four o'clock, so they could potentially be here any second now. I am speechless. They were, first of all, the kindest people. Second, my boutique is full of treasures. Like, look at this, guys. It is Christmas Eve. Pile of clothes. Another pile. The entire window is full. Bags down here. More blouses. Look how cool the patterns are. Like, it is just Christmas Eve. And it all looks this crazy. 
and what I am supporting by getting all of this is by the way an organization that are supporting the poorest women in Romania so they can now spend the portion of money um, to help them which even if this turns out to be kind of a fail I know that I've done something really good for the women in Romania and that just I guess it's gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine so <laughs> I'm just like over the moon excited to go through everything and this was by the way handed in to the organization by the friend to this woman who owned all of this um she's been wearing this throughout her life some of it she's sewn herself and I'm just so excited to dig in and actually have a look at everything and like I kind of see what kind of woman she was in the way that she was dressing. I think it's crazy that I actually have this woman's wardrobe. Um, yeah, I'm just like blown away. Uh, yeah, now also I'm sweaty. So sorry about that. I really want to take a picture with my pile of clothes. So I'm going to grab my camera and just take a picture as a, as a memory and because this is um, a big risk and it is so interesting and yeah I have no words like where are my words? Mom came by and started cleaning up outside <laughs> so she's my cleaning lady in her dungarees very in 90s it's a cool kit and I still haven't gone through anything yet I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow like it's a quarter to six now i think i'm just gonna go down here early tomorrow and go through everything see if i can find a few rails on facebook marketplace so that i have something to hang everything on because everything came with hangers so it's gonna be a long good day tomorrow so can't wait to go home and get some food luckily i made dinner last night and i have leftovers so i don't have to cook anything that's really nice. I am trying to empty this so that I can put these into the wall and um, so that's currently what I've been doing as you can see I've been making piles I was have a pile there then I've put in some boxes this is a Christmas box the 25 Danish corner box another one if I need another one and we have some trash over there and work has been getting started there is a lot of things to do but i'm gonna try to see if i can put these into the wall at first so that i can start to put up things on the shelves day 132 video calls won't do wow it's been a really busy morning I am now gonna go out and get some boa. I'm gonna put that on the screen so that I can fix those shelves. Because right now I can't put any clothes on them. So I just have clothes everywhere. I know that I haven't vlogged that much from today, but I feel like I've just been running around like a chicken trying to get stuff done. So, um, I'm trying my best, but it's really stressful, not just like the fact that I'm going to open in oh, half an hour's time, also just the fact that there is so much cloth and I just don't have places to put everything. So it's a really big project that I've got myself into. Um, <laughs> Hopefully this is going to work. We're going to try. I love that it has light in it. 
That's really cool. It was, by the way, a young man who helped me out and he laughed a little bit at my like DIY project because he could clearly hear that it's not because I know a lot about what I'm doing, but I will be able, I have to be able to do these things myself. Like I want to, so it's going well. The hole is there. I'm just going to put in a screw and then it is 20 minutes to three and I've just been sat down for the first time since I came down here today. I feel absolutely beaten, but I've made it such a long way. Like I'm really proud of myself. I ended up putting up a rail behind the door. It's just a typical one from Ikea, but I thought maybe I could have some of the vintage blouses hanging here. I just want to change all of them into these wooden hangers so that none of them are gonna be plastic black ones. I actually just wanted to show you something that's pretty cute. This is one of the bags. There were, there were a plastic bag full of bags and then there were this one that I opened up and inside it there is. There is this smaller bag and then there is also a small mirror. Like this belonged to her. I could really feel the day when I was packing everything out and going through it, going through everything that what I've bought is a woman's, all of a woman's personal belongings. Like these are pieces that she have sewn or she have collected throughout her life. And it's just, it feels really like crazy and also amazing and emotional to go through all of her things and i just appreciate something like this so much i think it's adorable and um yeah this was her mirror it has all of her dirty fingers on it <laughs> this one was also one of the bags that i think is so cute i want to hang it up behind the counter and also this black one that's in velvet it's so soft and beautiful i want to hang them up here i think on the wall would be nice because this one I kind of want to keep as a memory of her. I think I want to keep this one um, for myself but keep it as a decoration in the boutique because yeah that's her. There should be a piece of her in here. And then in the back this was empty like hours ago now but I've put up everything here. Pretty much like most of the vintage stock has been put here so like these are some like crochet t-shirts that are really in right now actually and um, so they're really cool and then I have like more sweaters skirts and these are all pants like these are so cool green pants these are really cool so I actually can't wait to do like the next vintage drop shoot because this one I'm gonna have like bags and belts. I can do like outfits with a skirt, a blouse, maybe a jacket. It's just gonna be so much fun to like, I kind of do want to do like outfits and inspiration. So I am excited but I'm so so tired. Um. I'm also really hungry. I haven't had anything to eat today. And I haven't really brought anything down here to eat. But there's only like one hour and 20 minutes left. I'm going to close at four. But that is a long time to not eat. That is not something I recommend. I'm going to feel like shh um, in the afternoon. So when I get back home. This is, by the way, the dress that I'm wearing today. Marigold. <laughs> First thing I see is not a scarf. It is this one. Look how cute. That is really adorable. There's also this one. Very 70s. So there were more sweaters in here. Some yellow.
this one. Oh, that's a vest. That's really cool. That's the vibe. So yeah, there are also sweaters and a white one. This scarf, it has some paint on it. I think, I actually think I want to make this into a scrunchie. So I'm going to bring that with me home and turn it into something else. I would like to start sewing more. And I don't know if it's just because I've received all these things from a Suezke. Suezke, what's that? on the screen um, but I kind of want to start sewing more wow I'm gonna go through all of this not just show you everything but I'm gonna make some piles of what it is and if it's worth anything or not I'm gonna get stuff recycled my car is full of things so that's what I'm going to do now we are here the first container I also have this bag full of clothes that I've decided to donate because I can't use it so um, I'm gonna empty the car it's absolutely full so it is always mainly cardboard that I'm gonna get recycled so it's pretty quick but I'm also gonna find the container for donating clothes and and a bag of mixed trash as well so and I want to go home so bad and get some food and I don't even know where I am like I've used Google Maps because this is pretty far away from home I'm almost at the exit but it's over here, so it's a big one. Oh. It's nice that the setup in the recycling places is always the same. So all of the containers has the same numbers, which is nice because I've never been here before. And I need Google Max Maps to get home, so it is now a quarter past seven. If you're still watching, I love you. And I thought that I would just end this vlog by telling you guys about the most embarrassing thing that happened today. So if you're still watching, you are lucky enough to hear this story. Because at around a quarter past three, my mom shows up in the boutique. We had not agreed that she was going to drop by. I think she just wanted to come and see how it worked out with the stocks. It was really sweet of her. But I had... a uh, agreement with the guy that I'm seeing that he was gonna come by and say hi in the boutique so when my mom had been there for like five minutes he shows up so my mom have now met the guy and um that was not my intention like we are not officially anything at all so after she left um I was like I'm so sorry I didn't know my mom was gonna show up and like really it was not my intention they were gonna meet at all today so that was a little bit embarrassing it was not even awkward it was just embarrassing so yeah that happened today <laughs> but overall it's been a nice day and um, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog I'm really happy with everything in the next vlog I'm gonna shoot vintage for a stock so you will see more like in detail which pieces that i've been getting so i hope you're excited i am really excited to try everything on i've not had the time to try anything on yet so leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one subscribe if you aren't and i'm going to see you all probably i'm going to vlog again tomorrow so bye guys